Well, the short answer for why I joined Formula was I was walking around the engineering campus and uh, of course I see this race car. I walked up to uh, the guy who was standing next to the car and his name is Billy. And, and I said, you know, Billy, this sounds great. If, if I'm a freshman, I join this team. Am I gonna carry your tools around or you know, what am I gonna do? And Billy, you know, he, he thought about it for a second and he said, Max, if you put the time in, you can do whatever you want. And I was sold. I actually found out about Formula from one of my high school teachers and he would always show um, some clips from what they were doing and I thought it was really interesting and I always had a motivation to go into um, something like automotive, aerospace, and I thought this was a great opportunity to do something like that. I guess the main thing that attracted me towards Formula was I think the race car is definitely the coolest product of any of the student orgs on campus. I mean just historically Wisconsin Racing has been one of the top performing teams uh, in the country um, and uh, especially last year we got 8th out of 120. Um, so being a part of that was really cool and just being able to be a leader uh, on the team and try to continue that tradition, um, pretty cool. So this year we uh, redesigned the monocoque. Uh, that was primarily to uh, comply with the new rules that we uh, had to abide by this year. One of the things trying to do differently this year is uh, definitely uh, how we organize and operate the test days. Uh, so they were able to get more drivers in the car doing more uh, realistic uh, simulations. Um, not only does that let the members of the team learn the most, because I think everyone learns the most about the car when it's on the track driving, um, but then also the fastest way to knock a few seconds off the lap time is to um, just have your, have your drivers be better at driving. Uh, there's a real sense of camaraderie. Um, working in the shop or in the lounge, you know, people are here at all hours. Uh, we all have a common goal and we really uh, like to focus on making sure we're communicating with each other about our projects and making sure we're all on the same page. My favorite thing about working in the shop and the environment is probably the people uh, coming to hang out with everybody every day. Kind of, you know who's going to be here, you know, late at night. I, I know who might walk in and hang out. We're going to work on formula together. Or... I'd say uh, my favorite thing is like the constant collaboration that I get with so many other people. Um, that have the same drive as me. I think the best thing is, you know, coming in on a, like a Saturday morning where we're really coming down to crunch time and you see like electrons working right next to like mechanical engineers and where everybody's eager to learn about what each other's doing. And I, I think that's pretty awesome. So at the beginning of the semester, there was an accident we had an oven in ECB that we had used for the past however many years. Our carbon fiber uh, curing oven uh, malfunctioned, so that equipment was destroyed, as well as half of the mold for our monocoque. We were finishing up breaking out the second mold to our monocoque, and we had put it in the oven um, overnight to make sure that all of the resin had cured. And just before we were about to go take it out of the oven for after its about 24 hour cycle, um, the fire alarms went off and, and the whole mold and plug started on fire and destroyed, uh, got destroyed. So um, at that point we weren't sure how exactly we were going to make a monocoque and make a car. We were already in for a difficult year and that just set us back even further. Uh, on top of that, the, our shop was limited due to safety concerns. And there's a couple week gray period where was, we really didn't know um, whether we could get the car back together, what kind of facilities we'd have, and it's been, uh, it's definitely been a struggle and kind of going on the fly, you know, week to week, almost day to day basis. I think the biggest thing is that we're losing out on test days and test weekends. So we're gonna get, we're gonna have less test time, less driver training. Um, I think that's really gonna affect how we perform our competition, but you know, we're still, we're still trucking, trying to make it happen. Uh, some, some people call it masochism, but uh, I guess uh, I enjoy seeing the students uh, that go out of their way uh, to learn new things and to put the effort in. Uh, those, those type of students spur me to want to assist them in uh, learning and then going on and having successful careers in engineering. Personally, I think I learn more here than I do in class. Um, you can take a lot of the ideas um, and stuff that you learn in class and you can apply it to um, like an actual product like you would at a company. The auto shop provides like a, it's a real world kind of space and also uh, it allows us to pursue 
uh, challenges that otherwise wouldn't be possible without like a space like this. The experience that students gain in the shop is very valuable for employers and that's very clearly shown by sponsors and companies that come directly to our shop to recruit students. It's really quite amazing how many connections you can make just in the few years that you are on the Formula team. We have hundreds of sponsors that are amazing and um, you know they want us to go work for them. They want uh, interns that are talented and experienced and then they want full-time workers who already have you know the first two years of experience. They don't need to train you because you've already been trained. And those, those types of engineers are the ones that every company wants to employ. So again, I think the main thing I see is the students learning and the students having fun while learning and not hurting themselves. That's the, that's the other caveat. I think my advice for new members and uh, anyone looking to join Formula SAE is be curious, uh, try to learn as much as you can. Uh, that you should spend as much time as you can around the office and around the shop. Just keep showing up, keep asking questions. That's really what I look for. Putting yourself out there and you know showing up to shop nights, asking a bunch of questions, that's the recipe for success. And uh, just do that over and over enough times, you find people start asking you questions. Now, let's take a look back at this year's adventure. Not good with words. Dude, my lats don't fit in the frame. <laughs>stealing pipe. What did Skipper Pan say? Did Skipper Pan say attention to detail? Say that we're the people who are actually doing the engineering, but that's like kind of what I'm trying to say. I don't know how to say that in a nice way. Uh, we do things. Never come down. Mama said, don't give up. It's a little complicated. All tied up.